Hi and welcome to the channel. If we're just meeting for the first time, I'm Scott and on this channel we take a look at those things that some of us with a little bit of gray hair and experience might find interesting, or at least I do. Uh, for the last couple episodes we've been out in the field hunting pheasants, we've been on the Harley Davidson doing some moto vlogging, we've been downstairs in the bar talking about scotch and bourbon. Today we're back upstairs looking at uh, my coin collection. I spent a little time today out at the local coin shop picking up some constitutional silver. Gonna fill a couple holes in my Dansko album and, um, and also put together what I think is gonna be kind of an interesting birth year set for both my parents and my grandparents. So like I said, I went to my LCS today and I'm fortunate to have a nice one nearby, just a couple miles from the house, uh, with some very nice people running it. And I was able to pick up some constitutional, primarily, a nice bag here. We'll take a look at what I got. There is one Lincoln cent in here for a reason. Like I said, I picked up a 1911 Lincoln cent. This one will help fill in the set for my birth year set for my grandparents. A 19, very nice 1947 Walking Liberty half. That will be an upgrade for my Dansko US typeset album. We'll put that in there in a minute. I got a 1925 Peace Dollar. This will fill a hole in my Dansko Peace Dollar album. A 39 Walking Liberty Half. Now all of these are in well-worn circulated condition. And that'll be just fine for the types of the birth year set I want to put together. Here's a Barber Half, 1912. Decent. A Barber Quarter, 1911. A Barber Dime, 1911. A little hard to see here. So what I also picked up were a couple of these five hole plastic holders for proof sets, birth year sets. And it struck me the other day, I was looking through the collection and I have a proof birth year set for myself, 1962, that I keep in, I broke it up and I have in my type set album over here. I also have, as it turns out, proof birth year sets for each of my three children from the 90s. And it struck me that it might be a nice thing to do to put together a set for my parents and my grandparents, representative of each. So that's what we're gonna do right now. We'll start, I guess, with my parents. I pulled out of my collection, you know, my duplicates in my collection, a number of 1939 coins here, and we're just going to drop them in place. So here's a 1939 cent, a 1939 nickel, pretty decent shape. Nineteen thirty nine Mercury Dime, nineteen thirty nine Washington Quarter. Again, it was nice I had all of these as duplicates into my collection. And then here we'll put the nineteen thirty nine Walking Liberty Half, which is just a Beautiful design. Drop that right in there. 
there's a corresponding piece that in theory should snap on and it did and there you have it kind of a nice set representing my parents now truth be told they are 38 and 39 but there's no difference in any of the coins between those two years so that seems to make sense there I thought it'd be nice to do one for my grandparents as well which I have here we'll start with the scent this one I had to pick up at the LCS today it's a 1911 S so I'm just going to carefully cut into that I hate these staples on these things so I always try and just make a nice careful little cut there so again the uh, Lincoln scent drops right in there. Now I happen to have a 1911 Barber nickel as part of my collection here that I forgot to pull out quite frankly. And there it is right there. Pull it out. Put these back. So there is 1911 Liberty or Barber Nickel. Drop her in there. The dime. The quarter. and the half. Again, snap the two pieces together and we have a nice way to display a birth year set from 1911. Now you'll notice the half there is from 1912 because I couldn't find a 1911 quarter at my LCS but again it's representative it works I'll replace it some other point really interesting to see all the barber designs on there and what they carried in their pockets back in the early 1900s the last two things to do today <clears throat> is to Fill a hole in my Peace Dollar Dansko album right here for 1925, which I picked up again just in circulated condition. Those of you that have seen the Dansko albums before, I've posted a video on most of them. I really like these, they're super high quality. So we'll just drop this one in there. It's a 25. Fill that hole, cover it up. Perfect. A few more to go. Back it goes. These slip covers are great too for protecting both the album and the coin. And then here on my Dansko typeset, <clears throat> which I've also put it together a video on, this one really is kind of my pride and joy. And so I'll link the video above where you can see in depth all of these. Lighting in here is not that great. But you can see the Walking Liberty I have in here, the half isn't great, especially when you have it next to this Proof Franklin and Kennedy's. So I'm going to take this one out. Pop this guy out of there. <clears throat> He'll find another place back in the reserve section of the coin collection. 
And then we'll pop this guy out. Again, it's not a proof or anything, but it's certainly in far better shape than the one I had in there. So in she will go. Cover her up. And that looks much nicer. A little crooked. And put that one away. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this quick little look through my day at the LCS. If you enjoy this type of content, please leave a comment down below, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you again next time here in the arena.